what's up everybody we're looking at the rog ally here now this is to get the latest amd drivers on the ally we are waiting on asus you know asus asus to roll them out they're taking a while but if you're impatient like me you can get it done today um warning not taking any responsibility for whatever happens to your device so be warned i do suggest you create a system restore point you know just in case something goes wrong <coughs> excuse me but all credit here goes to the subreddit here on the rog ally from sorry if i say your name wrong fagdriyami um followed every single step i'm just making a video to like kind of like show you visually how to do it um step by step give or take i'll be skipping some steps as i did on my ally here if i do go to the adrilogen software here on my ally here I'm just gonna move some of these files here really quickly Open up the software and we can see we're on two we are on the latest software at the moment so let's just go back here to the web page don't want to ruin anything up here there we go so first things first if you go here onto this uh, subreddit it tells you right here go to the AMD website download the 7840u driver so once you go there you know you can accept the cookies delete them however you want to do it just click you know we're using Windows 11 You'll usually see this one, the auto detect, skip it, just go here, download the main one. Once you do so, you know, open up your folder wherever it. Hey, really quickly, coming in from the future. Um, once you download the drivers here, go into your system file, go into the AMD folder, and then just go ahead and delete everything that's inside of it. Um, just forgot that quick little step. It's not going to ruin anything else. At, um, after this, you're going to extract the downloaded driver, and then you're going to install it. Bye. It's installed. Um, I should open up another one. Let's open up our files, downloads, and here it is. Once you click on it, it's going to ask you, you know, using this, you want to do this. I already did this, so I'm going to say no on my device. I'm going to click X. Now, however, it's actually going to give you an error, just like it did for me. And the error is going to look, oh, man, this mouse on this ally right now. Oof. Come on, there we go. And you're going to get a message that says something like this. It's perfectly fine. Do not worry about it. We then want to go here and we want to go to our device manager. Was it that one? Yeah, device manager. Yeah. I'm trying to remember everything right now. Just go to your device manager. Click on display adapters. We're going to find our graphics card right here. And we're going to just go ahead and click update driver. You're going to say browse, browse my computer. And then right here, we're going to click the software installer, packages. Then we're going to click drivers, display, WT is the only file here. And then right here, I want to make sure I tell you the correct one. We're going to click this one right here. You're going to select it and you're going to click OK. Once you do that, click X and so on. And then the new drivers are going to end up showing up. And that's where you actually see the 780M graphics driver if you're wondering what it's gonna look like uh, let me open this up right here making sure I'm in the correct page yeah yeah that's fine and you're gonna get this right here you're gonna get a message it's you know you're gonna be fine click next once you do so you install it it's gonna say are you sure it's you're gonna say no problem it's going to fully, once you select the file and you click next, it the software is going to install and you'll have the latest driver installed. However, the issue you're going to have afterwards is you're going to have the AMD software, which is going to show the wrong driver. What you have to do afterwards is go to your installed apps, uninstall A the AMD software, and then you're going to reinstall it afterwards, basically. If you're wondering how you have to reinstall it, well, that's when we go back to this subfolder, the type, the this PC, C, AMD. Uh, I want to make sure I'm on the right one. Uh, packages, drivers, displays. We go here, and then we're going to click this one right here. And then you're going to scroll all the way down. It's better if I just go out here until you find this. Nope, wrong one, wrong one. You keep scrolling down until you find CCC, and that's the one you're going to click to reinstall the AMD Adrenaline software. Once you do that, 
you know, it gets fully um, installed, you're going to restart your device, and then it should be working. Now, like I said, only do these steps if you're willing to take the risk and you're being impatient like I was. That's perfectly fine, but, you know, do it at your own case. I will tell you right now, uh, for those of you that have been kind of waiting on this um, update because of Tears of the Kingdom, I can show you exactly what that looks like right now without the artifacting. Now, I cannot tell you how to get Tears of the Kingdom on your ROG ally. You have to buy it, you know, do some modifying to your original Switch to dump your files, eventually transfer them to your computer, transfer them to the ally, and then you can get Tears of the Kingdom here, running without the artifacting. Now, once you have the new drivers, remember, that means you have to do all the um, shader compilation all over again. But if we look around, there's no more artifacting on the ground. So, if this subreddit post was um, you know, very helpful, go leave a like on the subreddit. Um, leave a like on the video and uh, see you on the next one.